Hello everybody and thank you for joining us again here at 3D Additive Fabrication. Today we have a wonderful video for you where we are going to find out what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> so, let's take a look. What is it? Ooh. Styrofoam. Yay! Just what I always wanted to cut on my brand new laser cutter. Over the course of this video, we're going to walk you through the unboxing and the setup of this amazing product, and we're going to find out what it can actually do. So stay tuned. Yay! So the first thing I have to say about this project is that crate is big and it is heavy. We have nine stairs out in front of the shop that I had to drag that up, and it was an adventure in and of itself. Long story short, uh, tire pumps were needed large amounts of force, and Sherry was pushing from the bottom to get this 175 pound crate into the shop. The first thing we did once we got it into the shop was probably something I should have done all the way back in Toronto where I picked it up. And that was to check to make sure there was actually a laser in the box. Luckily, and much to our mutual relief, there was a laser in the box. A beautiful yellow and black 3050 50 watt laser. And we were so excited to have it. After cracking the walls down on the crate, we found a small but very noisy air compressor, a water pump, and all the connecting lines that we were going to need, as well as a small satchel, which came as a bit of a surprise to us, which had some sample pieces in it, the software, and just about everything else we needed to get started with this project. Taking a look in the right side cabinet, you can see where your power is coming in here, as well as the small bus bar to help organize all the wiring coming through. This black box here is going to power up your laser, and this silver box here is going to power up all the rest of the components in the machine. If we take a little look further down into here, we'll see our control board, little mini control board there for controlling all the axis, and then how this is all going to connect to the outer buttons of the machine. Now to take a look at this control panel. Moving from left to right, we have an emergency stop. The green button is the light switch. The toggle allows you to move the table up and down. And then we have the laser switch and the power bar switch for the back. On the top control panel, we have several buttons that allow you to test the laser, turn the laser current up and down, and the main power switch. And the moment we've all been waiting for, the 50 watt laser. This laser shoots through a series of three mirrors to get focused in at the head to actually do the cutting work. In the near future, we will be releasing a video on how to properly calibrate and home in these lasers. And remember to snug up those belts before you start it up so that way there's no skipping. Sherry would like to send in a special apology for not appearing past the intro of this video, but she was a little detained making her own video. Cheers. Bye. Like and subscribe. 